Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Yay. We made it. Beautiful day out here. It's going to be hot again, but um, at least it's TGIF. Hope you're going to do something fun for the weekend. Uh, my thought today is on need to know basis. Uh, you know, we get wrapped up in what other people think about us, me included. And and we get wrapped up in wanting to know the people's business and what, you know, not just what they think about us, but, you know, what, uh, what dynamics are going on and this and that and whatever. And, you know, it really is true that what other people think about us is really none of our business. And the sooner we worry about our grass and our backyard, not worry about somebody else's or, or how green it is or if it's even mowed, the better off we are. Um, you know, we can't really become our best and, and work on our life purpose and and attain our goals uh, effectively if all we're doing is, you know, wondering what, you know, uh, or comparing ourselves to other people, like wondering what they're doing, why they're doing it, um, you know, and, and having comparisons. And, you know, who doesn't like acceptance? Who doesn't want to be, you know, uh, thought, thought well of? Um, and sometimes, you know, we just don't need to know all that. We need to have more self-confidence and self-awareness that whatever's going on in our sphere, that regardless of how, whatever anybody else thinks, yay or nay, positive or negative, that really it's not going to have an impact on us. That we're going to keep to our goal, that we're going to keep uh, driven, motivated, uh, objective, and, you know, carry on. <laughs> carry on. And, um, and that's just super important, you know, to, to, to keep ourselves in check and not, uh, you know, and that means sometimes too that, you know, we've got to pursue our goals and whatnot and other people just have to, have to be supportive of us and, uh, you know, and be a part of our, our cheerleading team. You know, that's, a, that's always important and fun and necessary, but, you know, Everything we do is, is not necessarily a need to know, on a need to know basis. You know, uh, when we get so sidetracked because of what we think that other people think of us or what they're not or what they're doing or how they're doing it or, you know, are we well liked? I mean, we're, we're totally focusing on the wrong things, which in, in a sense hinders us from focusing on us or what we need to do or the path we need to take or, you know, the involvements of where we need to go or anything else. And, um, Sometimes less is more, you know, sometimes the less we, uh, maybe sometimes, uh, get the multitudes involved, the better off we are as far as taking things to prayer, staying focused, doing what we feel in our heart to do, um, and stay on the, stay on that road so that we can obtain, you know, the happiness of our heart, or we can get that kick-ass uh, job or we can uh, attain that friendship or, or or whatever it might be and so you know sometimes that's just it we've got to be respectful to other people in the direction they're going to what their uh, their goals are and sometimes that you know we, we don't need to be over absorbing or over over uh, uh, being uh, what's the word over analyzing or over giving of our opinion when other people have to do things sometimes on their own time frame on their in their own way in their own will and through their own process of uh, successes and even failures possibly and you know so sometimes we just need to have a need to know attitude in, in mindset that all we need to do is be supportive be there uh, non-judgmental um, you know, be a shoulder for somebody if they need it. Um, you know, not detour them from whatever their goal is and be accepting. And that, I mean, that's a part of it too, is just learning to accept the things we cannot change, whatever that saying is, and do our best in that process. So, you know, none of us have everything all figured out. Um, 
And sometimes when we think we have it figured out, we actually find out that we've got another better plan in the process. And so we've got to be conscientious to our goals and taking it to prayer. And of course, uh, it's always great to get help and thought from others. But you know, to, to, to allow ourselves to be open and uh, directional, but also to keep an attitude of, uh, on a need to know basis, because sometimes we just have to live in the moment in order for us to know what to do about the future. And we sure as heck can't be looking in the past all the time in the rearview mirror and, and thinking, oh, well, that didn't work, or oh, well, because of that, this. Absolutely not. And so get real with yourself about what you need to know and make sure it's, you know, from the right place that you're making your decisions and go forward from there. Um, we don't need to know everything. Sometimes we don't know everything. Sometimes we think we do and we don't. But keeping an open mind and heart and looking to the man upstairs for the answers is first and foremost the best place to go to look. And all you need to know right now is that you are staying purpose driven, that you are, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. All you need to know is that as long as you stay motivated that, you know, that the answers will come and those that are important and care about you and are supportive are going to be there period so don't get wrapped up in the maybe shoulda woulda what if didn't work in the past whatever and stay in the here and now and be objective and projective about what you want to happen and keep yourself in the need to know what I got to do to get where I want to go so then I can attain whatever it is that is going to make me happy or even if us going in that direction here and now and today and, and making steps to get there even if we change our mind along the process that the answers will come and I'll need to know at that time of what how to handle it you know I'm the world's worst I want to have everything solved day before yesterday and we can't do that I can't do that I mean you end up go, driving yourself half crazy by trying to you know fix yourself uh, fix your direction um, have you know the crystal ball and none of us do all we have is right now right here right day and we have to make the most of it and <clears throat> so be that a part of our daily thought is be in the here and now for the need to know and trust God's going to give us the answers and we're going to continue to do our best and stay uplifting and stay full uh, um, a, a a objective and that regardless of how things might look and if today's a bad day doesn't mean it's a bad life and you know obstacles and hurdles and hiccups are put in our life for a reason and we could you know it's up to us to how we choose to, that we're going to handle it but also how we perceive it so and not being stuck in whatever it was that we felt defeated about so anyway that's what you need to know you've got today and it's great to have plans and we've got to have plans we've got to stay driven and motivated but right now, sometimes all you need to know is that you are perfectly imperfect. The answers are going to come. You're going to make a plan. You're going to stay on it. And that, you know, you got to love life and live life and be happy along the way and appreciate things as they come and plan, 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 but stay in today. So I hope this message came out the way I wanted it to. If it didn't, scroll on um, but anyway that's my need to know is I need to know that I need to stay in here now and be objective and and trust be at peace that whatever God has in my life or has in your life that it's gonna be the way it is and we're gonna keep keep moving and walking and talking and working on being our best in that process so anyway I hope you'll have a blessed day keep looking up decide what you need to know be realistic about it don't get ahead of it it's a process. Uh, enjoy today. Be grateful in it. Talk at you later.